Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of BDD using Behave tool, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use background keyword, okay, background Kirkin keyword. So let's get started. So how to use this background Kirkin keyword. So here is a project we have created so far. We have two feature files. I'll just delete one of the feature file, which is not required for this uh, session. So I'll just put only the search feature file. I'll just open the search dot feature file. And here we can clearly see there are two scenarios, scenario one, scenario two. In fact, in real time, you can have more scenarios. These are just the sample scenarios we created. So if you observe these two scenarios of the search dot feature file, the first step is common. The first step is a pre set step, which is common. I am on the application homepage. Here also, I am on the application homepage. The second step onwards, the things have changed. Enter valid. Here, I enter invalid, which is different. But the first step is same. No matter what, how many steps are there in the beginning, which are same, okay, that can be moved into one thing known as background. Okay, write down the keyword, background keyword. And now, just move this step under this background. Once you move that step under the background, you don't have to specify this or duplicate this step in every such uh, scenario, okay? In every scenario, you don't have to write this step. So this is a predict side step. So before the scenario starts, this need to run and it's a common step for all the scenarios in this feature file. In that case, you can create a background and under that move that common step, common predict side step for all the scenarios, okay? It should be common for all the scenarios, no matter how many, how many scenarios are there. In every scenario, this should be the first step. Okay, the beginning step. Such kind of common beginning steps can be moved under background. So you don't have to have this extra line everywhere in this uh, scenarios. Okay, this is the advantage of using background. It's not compulsory for you to create background and move the step. It's up to you. In some cases, if you feel that, okay, let's move that, you can move that. Otherwise, you don't have to move that also. Okay, but there is a flexibility uh, provided, okay, in the Gherkin uh, with this background keyword and we can utilize that, okay, if required. So now let's run this uh, feature file and see whether all these two scenarios are working or not, running or not. Okay, still the two scenarios should work and I am on the home application home page should be printed in the out console. CLS and uh, I'll write down behave features. Under the features package, we have this uh, search dot feature file. Two tests should run. And uh, I am on application home page should be uh, printed for to both of the scenarios. For the first scenario, I'm on the application homepage or already printed. Okay, for second scenario also, let's see whether it's getting printed or not, okay? Background will contain the predict side steps for all the scenarios in the feature file. So here for second scenario also, I am on the application homepage got printed, okay? So this is what uh, is how we can use this background Gherkin keyword, okay? Uh, so that's all for this session. And uh, we are done with BDD using behave, okay? All the basic topics that are required for you to understand BDD using behave, right? that I covered as part of this session. And in the next session, we are going to start with the uh, creation of the Behave BDD hybrid framework with page object model, okay? It is a hybrid framework, which is BDD type of whatever, whatever the topics I covered, right? That I'm going to utilize here. And it also has a page object model, okay? We are going to build a hybrid framework, which implements this Behave BDD. And not only that, also the page object model, okay? That, that series, we are going to uh, start from the next session, okay? Here in this current uh, section, we completed the, the basic knowledge that you need to have before creating such kind of frameworks, okay? Basic knowledge of behave, BDD using behavior you should have, okay? So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.